did uh, the big trip, which was basically the Simpson Desert, which is the biggest part of what we wanted. It took us three events, three to efforts to get there. And we kept on having things like broken back windows and broken windscreens and then shock absorber problems. And so yeah, it was a bit of a nightmare actually getting out of the Simpson. But once we got there, absolutely brilliant. Loved it. Go back there tomorrow. Start off with the idea this is going to be the trip of the lifetime for us really, it's sort of with what's happened with me and my health and everything else, so getting out to the bush again was an absolute must for me. I suppose in the end uh, the Simpson was just one of those, you know, on bucket list type trips that we wanted to do and or I specifically wanted to do. I've lived and worked in my life right out bush most of my life sort of thing, so getting back out there was a bit of a must really. I suppose understanding why why I wanted to do the trip or how it came about and why we ended up pushing ourselves towards the end was um, I got diagnosed with stage four esophageal cancer and um, 
sort of felt like if I didn't do it now, I was never going to get it done, basically. And I, I'm actually sort of a little bit surprised that I'm here and doing as well as I'm doing because I wasn't expecting it to happen. I think I thought I was probably going to go a bit quicker than I did. So it's been a benefit. It's been great. And I think going on the trip, going out, going out in the bush and just generally sort of living the dream a little bit more has helped me to keep going, keep my sort of positive thoughts happening, I guess. Um, yeah, it's <laughs> been a bit hard to deal with. It's never easy facing cancer. It's never a good thing at the best of bloody times, but I suppose I'm trying to make the best of make positives where positives can be made, I suppose. But, um, yeah, don't wish it on anyone. <laughs> it's not a not a good thing, but I suppose what I do wish on people is if they do get diagnosed, it doesn't matter what, or even if they're not diagnosed, if they're not sick at all, if you get the opportunity to live your dream, do it while you can. You only usually get one chance, I've been a bit lucky, I've sort of, I've, I've sort of had a bit of a second chance here in a way, so luck's been a little bit on my side for this. And I'm still doing okay. I have the odd day where I'm not so good, but the majority of the time I'm actually pretty good, so.